Hey, hello, and welcome to the slightly late uh, show and tell. I'm your host who hit the wrong button and didn't start it nine minutes ago, John Park. Uh, I'd love to blame Lars, but it's not his fault this time. This time, uh, so we have a uh, pretty minimal show and tell so that you can get back to all of your uh, festivities and beverages and preparations for Thanksgiving if you celebrate that tomorrow, uh, playing games, doing what you're doing, hacking, writing code. What are you up to? If you want to come and show something on the show and tell, come on by. The link is over on our blog. It's a blog post uh, towards the top. You can also check out our Discord at adafru.it slash discord. Uh, and you'll see a link in there about, I don't know, four posts ago. So look for a, a link there to StreamYard. All you really need to do is allow your browser to uh, use camera and microphone and maybe screen share if you're, if you're doing that. It's usually an operating system level thing. Uh, and hopefully we're up and running. I'm just checking the uh, chats over here. Uh, Ada1. User says nothing yet as of a minute ago. That may just be the delay. I think we're I think we're up and running. Uh, some nice is typing, and I'm hoping it's a triumphant yes. Yes, this is actually streaming. Yep, live on YouTube. Okay, uh, I'm not sure about the other places. Should be. We'll kind of port them all through the same stream. We are live, and the stream is good. Yay! So uh, we have a guest. Uh, there was someone else trying to get in earlier who had some. Technical difficulties, Flobio, if you're able to try again, uh, we're still running. Otherwise, we've got our guest, Todd Bot, ready and willing, hopefully. Hey, Todd, <laughs> how's it going? Hey, let's do this again. <laughs> yeah, so if, if you don't know, I thought I had started the show, and we just uh, talked for eight minutes, and then someone <laughs> pointed out that we weren't running, so in, it's a rarity in live streaming, but here we go. Take two, this time with feeling. Hey, Todd, what do you yeah. got? The crap we said before. It was amazing. <laughs> <you know? laughs> it, was, it was the best. So so uh, a couple things. First is uh, Paul Cutler and I just finished uh, recording the latest episode of our The Bootloader podcast. So if you'd like to check that out, go to thebootloader.net and, um, and subscribe. Uh, we just, uh, one of the things we talked about was the Hackaday Supercon and this cool new magazine called Doctype, which Ooh. is a bunch of HTML uh, programs that you have to type in yourself by hand, just the way you like hey. used to type in programs from the 80s. Ah, um, that's fun. I'll have to tell and my so, sister, we used to, we had a TRS-80 in the kitchen for a little while and we would type in programs uh, in basic out of the magazines from, from uh, for a little while. No, this, this, this magazine is so good. It's, it's like it's like very, very well uh, put together. And cool. in the, on their back, um, when you go to the page to order it, it says, can I get this as a PDF? And it's like, no, you cannot cheat. Yeah. You must, yeah. <laughs> you must buy the print version and type it in. <laughs> and you're not allowed to take a photo and let OCR uh, figure yeah, it out. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be painful, actually, debugging that. So, so, so the in. other thing um, I'd like to talk about is uh, people have been getting their Ada boxes, um, and if yes. and if you have not gotten an Ada box or would like something akin to Ada boxes, I think Ada box might be changing in the future. There is another little organization called HackerBoxes.com, and right. they make really cool little uh, monthly things. But you can also just go there right now and buy. Uh, Buy, buy boxes that, they, that have been mm -hmm. previous months. And so I've got a couple here. I've not assembled them yet. Um, but this one is called Synth. And it actually uses cool. some boards that um, it, it are, are, are sort of versions of boards I made. Like this yeah. this little Pico slider toy that I've made that has a display and stuff. And these here is a cool full color PCB version wow. of it. And um, and this is a this is a uh, USB MIDI controller or keyboard micro pad sort of thing. It's got like sliders and buttons on the bottom and these two rotary scroll wheels nice. like on iPods. And all you do is solder a Pico to the back and solder some resistors down, and boom, you've got a so USB easy. controller. Oh, that's and cool. um, and then this one is a uh, it's just a little PCB that's got a Pico holder for a Pico and a couple of um, uh, rotary encoders and and mm -hmm. uh. uh, uh display or no sorry the audio out and it, it's a, a version oh, and a round display it's a version of this thing that I never made oh. into a pcb which was a little kind of generative musical art project where these little balls bounced around on a screen and you could change how they moved with the knobs and stuff right it's really cool and so so this is a a, re a fully realized version yeah. of that that you can build 
That's really cool. And, then the, and, the, and so the kit can, comes with all the parts you need, the mm -hmm. Pico and the even the USB cable if you need that. Um, it also has some other fun stuff, like here's a Hack the Planet luggage oh, tag. Oh, luggage tag, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> and but, um, do, they, do they have uh, code and uh, tutorials for these somewhere? Yeah, yeah. So so every, every box comes with a full Instructable that has all the... Uh, right. has a like an unboxing experience. <laughs> it's, it's just like just like mm -hmm. the, you know web page, um, but also um, how to put it together and how to program it um, and all the all, all, all the source code and stuff. Um, the second hacker box is one that came out. It's called Engage, and it came out right before one of the supercons a couple oh, wow. years ago, the Hackity Supercon, and it is a bunch of little SAOs. These um, these little badge add-ons that uh, you'd put, you'd add to your badge. And so they're all these cool full color little PCBs that you solder up. And like this one's it's like the fallout character, <laughs> I guess maybe, I don't know. Um, this one's all your base. And like, these are the very, really simple ones that just have LEDs and they yeah. light up, but they're, but they're full, full PCBs, That's cool. um, full color. These are all done on PCB ways process. If you're curious, which yeah, they um, look great. The, yeah, yeah. The, the the guy who runs uh who runs Hacker Boxes did a talk on how all this works. Um, oh, great! And uh, and again, like like the other one, uh, this comes with all the parts. Like this one, this one is a ESP32 controlled. Uh, these are like matrix displays that then shine through the the, cool. the front here, and so you get a little robot ah, that has little so LED eyes. Um, and so yeah, these are just these are just amazingly fun, and it's not just one project per box. It's like it's like one larger project and then a bunch of little tinier projects. So cool and uh, a lot of fun. Like they just the, the colors are just so good. And I don't know that I don't know the technology what PCB way uses. I think it's yeah. a type of screen printing, but um, but it's uh, but you just give them a Photoshop file. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to check that out. I've been a little intimidated by some of the previous um, processes I've seen for doing color with, with a vendor, which involved like opening their specific Illustrator file and conforming to layer this and that. It would be lovely to just say, here, print this. I know. It's, <laughs> Maybe it's preview just, it in like, CMYK, but other than that, yeah. Yeah, so, I've, been, I've been really wanting an excuse, like wanting some, some design of mine that actually would warrant color. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah. most of my stuff is very monochrome. <laughs> right. Uh, speaking of color, I like you're representing the neon retro oh, yeah. arcade there. Uh, if you're, uh, if anyone is in Southern California and would like to play uh, pinball machines or classic arcade games, um, this place in Pasadena has them for like fifteen dollars for an hour of unlimited yep. play. Place it's very great. fun. <laughs> this is not sponsored by them. Or not, not sponsored. I mean. <laughs> At least I assume. I assume. Yeah, yeah, no, no, they're 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 a couple of miles from me, and I love them. Yeah, <laughs> and I good. and I gave them an old video game that didn't work at one point. It was, oh, a, it was a Tempest. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's cool. I've played Tempest there. I wonder if it was yours that they restored. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, excellent. Well, thank you so much, Todd, and uh, I wish you a happy Thanksgiving if you're you too celebrating that tomorrow, and I'll let you go back and stir the cranberries. So uh, thanks, thanks so much. We'll see you soon. <laughs> All right, next up we have Flobio. Hello. I cannot hear you, but I can see you. So if you can't hear me, I'll make some gestures towards. Let's see. How about okay, yeah, it looks like you were muted. You're unmuted now, but I'm still not hearing you. No sound, no sound. There we go. Oh, yes, we've done it. Hi, Flovia. How you doing? Hi, good. Um, so I got the fruit jam on my birthday last in August. Uh-huh. Been working on uh, conversion of uh, Activision's Kaboom. Cool. And I call it Pi Boom. So I made it two player, like the 5200 version. And we press one to get a one player version. Press space for start. Ah, perfect. And then try to catch them all. Excellent. This was one of my favorite 2600 games. Yeah. Oh, that's great can't get all the sounds that I want, but this gets it close enough. And then I used um, palette shifting for the splashes. Oh, and yeah. And then you can see the, their, the 
fuses glow yep. with the same thing. So I have it on a playground set up on it and uh, GitHub for it too. Yeah. So with and that, used... you're using like a sprite, but to not have to swap in memory a new sprite, you're shifting one index of the of, of the, the colors. colors to yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. And did you say there's a yeah. playground uh, up for people if they want to check it out? Yep, there is. And then, uh, yeah. And I used AI. I started with make code on the Pi game and then uh -huh. um, manually transferred it over and learned the display IO mm -hmm. and got that going and got the basics set up and then used AI to kind of flesh it out and build it into classes and make it a little more robust. But yeah. um, the explosions it drew, that's the only graphic I didn't draw. That's great. So, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I want an explosion. And it oh, yeah, that that. Was, that's what it came up with. Yep, it works pretty well. Yeah, and then you'll notice he smiles. That's another. <laughs> that one, I think I did sprite changes. Yeah, we did a sprite change on that. <laughs> yeah. And then a game over screen with the score. and. Excellent. It'll track your high high score from there. I'll go check it out. And are you playing on a keyboard or a gamepad for control? Or At both? the moment, gamepad. Uh -huh. um, I'm still new to Circuit Python, so I couldn't quite get the um, USB hack mm -hmm. that uh, Foamy guy posted to work for the game. Mm -hmm. And AI was a little confused, mm -hmm. so I want to. I need to be able to work it myself before I can help it. Yes. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, great. Yeah. Well, have have fun playing. Uh, yeah, playing the game over the over the break here, and uh, appreciate you you coming on. And uh, thanks yeah. for posting that as a playground. Everyone else can yeah. go check it out. Just go to learn and you'll see a playground uh, section up there, and you can look for yeah. the game. Thank you I'll so much. I'll post it in chat. Okay, thanks. Perfect. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Very cool. Uh, and. Last up, just because I wanted to show something I'm working on, uh, I was building some uh, VESA mounts for monitors. If you're not familiar with uh, VESA, V-E-S-A, I don't know how you pronounce it, VESA, VESA mounts uh, are your standardized hole patterns. There are a bunch of them, but this is a 100 millimeter hole pattern that'll go on the back of a monitor. Uh, this one here might be one of those, actually. This old bell. Yeah, that's probably. So you can fit that to mount monitors on things other than just the sort of stand that it comes with, like monitor arms. Uh, I just wanted to mount on some uh, one inch outside diameter pipe. And so I designed uh, a little clamp. And the interesting thing I found is that printing as a single piece like this means that the bracket itself is really strong. And the uh, clamp that goes around the pipe is pretty weak because this is the layer line direction uh, the, of Z axis of the printer. And so you can snap those. That's no good. So uh, I decided to modify it and, and uh, came up with a, a two part design so that I can print them both in sort of the, uh, the strong axis. So now that all of that plastic that wraps around like that is, is actually uh, not going to be very difficult for me to break that. So, uh, so now I'll mount those together like that with some screws countersunk from the back that still goes on but now i'll be able to mount that on a pole and i'll show that project in more depth uh soon but here's the uh here's the close-up of broken one and you can see why right these are these are the layer lines here so this is not going to be a strong axis uh here's one that i tried to actually i sawed it a bit and pulled on it and still had a very hard time getting getting it open but this you can see it's it's uh deforming instead of just shearing because that's the that's the axis that it was printed on like that there. So this is the sort of final thing. And I'm just printing these in standard, uh, not even a high strength mode. And it's just PLA. And that'll probably work fine for what I have, or I can go to a stronger material if I need to. Uh, so that's my little update on something I'm working on. All right. Uh, I think that is going to do it. So, hey, thank you all so much for stopping by. And uh, like I said, happy Thanksgiving to you if you celebrate that. Uh, and have a great next few days. And we'll be, uh, some people are on vacation, but we'll be gearing back up and getting some shows uh, going next week. So come on by. 
Uh, thanks everyone so much. And there will not be an Ask an Engineer uh, this evening either. So that will do it for us for a few days. For Adafruit Industries, I'm John Park. This has been Show and Tell. See you next time. Bye-bye.